Hello again, YouTube Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simple, and All Subjects channel. So we're going to get a little controversial. This is going to ruffle a little feathers on this one. And I want to talk about the ways that and the ways of the bum black ninja, male and female. We're we going to get into some characteristics. Uh, we we gonna let let you know what what they do. You might not even agree with this whole entire list, but I'm getting ready to go through it. So let's get going. Ways of the bum black ninja. We ain't white people do this stuff too. And it don't matter what race you are, but we 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 gonna kind of pinpoint kind of highlight us melanated ones even though anybody that's like this is a bum now a bum is more so what you do not as much what you have and don't have it's what you have and don't have but it's more what you do because if you let's say you're a, a diamond uh heist like oceans 11 and all that uh, uh, let's say you still in diamonds. You still a bum. You is it's rich bums. If you scamming people to get what you got, you're a bum. That let, let's just start out with that. If you got what you got from scamming people, you're a bum. And that's just all it is to it. And the Most High don't like bums. He don't like if you look at some of the things he don't like is the stuff that bums do share innocent blood. You making demands, pulling out guns. Give me your money or I'm going to kill you. Bum. I done hit some low points. And, and, and when I hit those points, it's like I had plenty of guns if I if I wanted to get on some bummery. And get to robbing people and robbing banks and all that. Never did. Never will. I don't think. It, it, I mean, look, the, nobody knows what's going to happen in the world. That's not the plan, let's just say. So, if you're selling drugs, you're a bum. You are. And, and look, man, I got you say, well, you got friends. Uh, listen, no one's excluded. No one's excluded. If that's the avenue, because because think about it. We live in the United States of America, the richest country in the world, where you can, no matter what your business is, if people want what you're selling, you can make it big. You don't have to commit crime. Which is another thing. If you think, if you think you gotta commit crime, you a bum. Some of y'all is well dressed bums. Y'all think because you dress nice, because you got designer, that you not a bum? Look how you got the designer. Look how you got the designer. Look at the stuff you did. Come on now. Let's just be real realistic right here. Let's be real. Next thing I want to mention, that bum, black ninjas, and all ninjas, we, we, but we're talking about us because we want to improve us. We want to move up the ladder. And y'all don't like this kind of talk, but this kind of talk is necessary. The first thing is people who, and I talked about this before, people who won't make more money because they don't want to lose their food stamp. Bum. You being a bum. Food stamps is supposed to help us while we need help. Like, I could get, well, I don't know. I could have got, it was times I could have got food stamps because of how many people I got in my house and different factors. I said, no, I'm not getting it. And people was getting mad at me. But you got to look at how I view getting food stamps. Food stamps is for people who lose their job. Who, who might be disabled 
or or, or certain cer sets of circumstances. They're not supposed to be for able-bodied people to just be on 10, 15, 20 years. Next thing, if you ain't if you ain't putting forth a strong effort, we we could have said we could have said maximum. But if you ain't putting forth a strong effort to improve your financial situation, and and you gotta ask people for money, you you ain't got money like that. You got a low paying job, you been a bum. You are. If you think that being hood. Well, I don't want to do that. You think going to college is acting white. You think going to the military. Some dudes, the military will help y'all. I would. I don't like to speak against it or for it. But some guys, I, I know it'll help them. What, what you, you want to stay in the trenches? But if you not doing anything to improve your situation, your bad situation, boom. Boom. You should be getting your driver's license if you don't got it. If you lost it, get it reinstated. You should not be out here driving with no plates, no license. Because you get in the car accident, it's your fault. You gonna pay that person forever. You gonna forever alter your life. Not having a driver's license when you can, bum. Get your driver's license. Get your driver's license back, man. Stop trying to be like these people that ain't ain't being nothing. And I'm not saying that I'm just the A1 top top this top that. But at the same time, I ain't no bum. Cause you let me show you what makes you not a bum. Even if you don't have that much money. If you working towards your goals, you working towards your goals, you not a bum. If you got goals, real goals, that you ain't just telling somebody that to get them off your back. You really want to see that happen for it. You. You're not a bum. If you change your life around from doing these things we talk about and you you ain't quite there yet, you still not a bum. Your friends might have more money than you and they might be bums and you not. To have to do dirt to get money, bum. You robbing people. You, I, I, look, man. I don't worked in jails and, and all type of stuff. I done heard almost every story you can hear. I done heard dudes talking like they got everything, like they got everything. Then they get out here and they don't even be out here two weeks and they done already robbed somebody else on their way back, bum. And then what's crazy is this the worst part about working in corrections. You know these dudes, some of these dudes are bum. You don't want to treat, you want to treat people humanely. But you be knowing that they bums and they be talking crazy stuff to you. Like, man, you ain't got nothing. I used to troll them. I used to be like, man, I'm about to get in this new car. When I got this car, I said I'm about to get in this new car. Go, I got, I got some um, adult beverages waiting. Give me some food. They get to run in their mouth. If you have to live off a woman, it's one thing to to have an attitude where. You tell them they got to prove they want to be with you, prove they loyal. It's another thing where you got to live off of them. Boom. Boom. And all of these, this this what's happening right now. A lot of women are married to working guys, right? 
He might not be rich, but he works. He's not a bum. He's not. He works. You gonna go from that working guy to them non them you know who gonna give you attention? Them non working guys. They got all day to have sex. So some of y'all think they better. It's not that they better. They just got all day to do it. So it's sometimes they more energetic with it than a guy that just worked ten hours, eight hours, even four. And then the working guy, like, like, look, a lot of women is attracted to what a man has or the appearance of it, like fires, his clothes, cars, stuff like that, right? You going to dump your good boyfriend that could have been your husband or your husband, and you going to be on somebody else's roster. And it ain't going to be polygynous. He ain't going to be giving you nothing but the pipe. And so this is happening a lot. I'm hearing a lot of stories about this where women are dumping or getting dumped by good guys because they ain't acting right. And then they go out thinking in their mind that they're going to upgrade and they downgrade. You went from not giving that good dude none, which was one of the reasons why you broke up, to always having to give that bad dude some or he don't want to deal with you. Now you in competition. A real polygynist, man, it ain't going to be no competition. Y'all going to be equal. And y'all going to know about each other. But most of these guys are fake polygynist men. They got more than one woman, but they got all of them. And you can't tell me because when I was younger, that's what I used to do. So I know. You got all of them thinking they the only one. That's where a lot of y'all women is headed. Because you ain't a you ain't a bad B. You ain't a boss B. You a bomb B. Bums attracted to bums just like game recognized game. Y'all dudes need to rent. Look, man, don't don't fret. The she might be trying to act like you a bum because you ain't rich, but you not, man. You you a good dude. You ain't out here committing crimes. You going to work. That's not good enough for them. Because they got that bum mentality, that bum mindset, and they're going to end up with a bum. That's why I don't be having don't be having kids with all these women, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't say, I wouldn't encourage uh having kids at all right now. At all. Even if you married. Just don't just wait. Let's see how she gonna act. Let's see if she gonna switch up on you. Let's see if the bum be in her is gonna come out. If she like bad guys, bum. I don't care if you're a nurse, doctor. You like them dudes. You like the dudes that you got to send a $100 biggie bag, bum. So now they're trying to switch up. Well, we we like the boring guys. Boring guys, introverts, socially awkward, whatever you is. You better learn how to vet. You better watch my videos on vetting. Because these women coming after y'all now, and they ain't no good. They washed, they washed up. They done gave their best years to the worst bums. Now they coming for you. You got your stuff together. You finally got your stuff together. Here she comes. She got nice feet, cute feet, cute skin complexion, caramel skin, the smooth chocolate. Glow worm, high yellow. It's all it's a lot of different nice skin. And here she come, washed up. Done did everything. I got trains ran on her. But by the way, if you have if you ever 
had a train ran on you. You look. Don't try to act like you didn't do it. You was a bum, B I T C H. Excuse my language when you did. It's okay. You might not be that way now. But if he asks you, tell the truth. Don't be trying to deceive these dudes. You know you've been a thought. A little bummy thought. From the hood. Find out what neighborhood she from. Do a spot crime on her neighborhood. That's something that I would do. If if I like a chick and I know her first and last name, I'll type her name in, see where she live at. If she live in them trenches, then I can't mess with her. Because I know it takes a certain type of mindset to be in them trenches. And to just be comfortable in them trenches? No. That's what Coach Greg call a straggle. If you ain't getting your kids no school clothes, but you got a BBL, bum. If you getting your nails done, but you ain't got gas in your car, bum. If you a dude, somebody always got to treat you. Bum. Stay your punk A at home. Excuse my language. Somebody shouldn't always have to treat you. You should be. If if you if your guys done treated you two, three times, you, you one day you're down the line, you should be like, man, I got it this time, man. I got it. Don't, don't, don't front. Don't spend your last. But you you should be like, man, I got it. I remember back in the day, like, man, I used to put gas in my guy car before I was driving. We just used to drive around talking to females, just going here, going there, having fun. I put gas in this car. I would treat, right? Now, now get this. I got into one of our other friends one time. And we was finna fight. He didn't get out the car. I, I wanted to fight. I ain't gonna lie. Because I was treating them. Treating, 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 treating the drinks. I had this drink that I used to make that was $150. I called it the toxic waste. And I used to make it all the time. And I was buying all the stuff. Or most of it. So, when child care first started, right? in Wisconsin when it first started getting big they were paying him to watch his two I think his niece and nephew like a thousand dollars a week or two weeks it was ridiculous and so one day I just tested him like I had money in my pocket but I tested him out I was like Man, your turn to treat, man. Go ahead and treat, man. Big money. He was, he was, he had treated before, but he didn't treat more than me. This particular day, I know he had a pocket full of money, and he was being stingy. So I called him up on it, and it turned into an argument. And we was over there on uh, 27th and Capitol. It's a Wendy's over there in Milwaukee. It was on 27th and Capitol. This was like, I want to say like 96. And he was talking slick. And, and we just started getting loud. They trying, our other two guys trying to stop us from arguing. I said, man, you talking like you tough, man. You ain't whooping ish. You know you ain't messing with me. He kept talking. I said, man, get out the car, man. Let's see. Get out. I got out the car. I got out the car. I said, man, get out the car. I'm pulling on his door. He locked his door. Or or, or our guy that was driving, somebody locked the door. I'm like, I, I got my hands up like, man, what's happening? Get out. 
Get out. You talking like you tough. Let's see how tough you is. He wasn't saying nothing then. So after like five minutes, I got back in the car. I said, I called him the, the band. The five letter female dog with the second word starting with an A. Third word starting with an N. And then I called him the hand. And I think I might have pushed his head. I put my hand in his face. Like, man. And then I, after that, <laughs> he stopped coming around as much. He started going to church. And so I saw him like a couple weeks later. Maybe a month. Two months tops. We had Capitol Court. And it was one of the malls. I saw him in Capitol Court. He was acting funny. half talking. Next thing I know, he done got saved. He's a preacher now, and that's fine. I mean, but that night I called him up on his mess, man. Because to me, he was being a bum. Like, I was treating them dudes in that particular time, man. He just, he, he could have treated. He just was being stingy. Like, ain't nobody ever treat him, and it just set me off, man. I was acting up, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. People were looking. Like, oh, they finna fight. I'm glad he didn't get out, man. Because he... He wasn't it when it came to the hands. It would have got bad. Because when I got in that mindset that I was in that day... If you average or below average, you going to the hospital. I was I was furious. I used to get like that back then, you know. I control. And that's another thing. If you don't know how to control your temper, that is bomb behavior. Let me look at it like this. It's not that white people are the epitome, the apex, or whatever. But when they have something. Or they doing something, their behavior is better. Like, and it's their neighborhoods are better, so on and so forth, right? When you quick temper like that, that's bomb behavior. When you crash out, of course we we gonna sometime we gonna crash out. But like when you crash out, and you is gonna do something like I crashed out at that job. And my mind said, F this job, I quit. Because I just got tired of them and the little stuff they were saying, how they kept forcing me. I just got tired of them. So I said, I quit. You don't got to write me up, I quit. I'm trying to write me up for something that I'm trained to do it this way. Because you don't like that it was a guy you liked that got beat up and a woman responded first. They supposed to be equal with us, right? They always said that you control your unit, start getting your paperwork ready. But this particular time, he wanted it to be something different. Look, man, I don't got time for that. You show me what it is, and I'm going to give you what you asked for. And then you want to question, like, first of all, let's go here, off subject, on subject. You're not always a bum when you quit a job. It just depends on the situation and the circumstance. You don't take everything off these people, man. There's other money that can be made. I'm finna make some right now. But it's like I never trusted them that if I get to waxing these dudes like I was at other facilities, I didn't trust them. I just I just had a feeling they was going to take it to the extreme and try to fire me or get or try to get me put in jail. I don't practically suplex dudes. Nothing. I, I, I just never thought that I could go there. When I was there. So you're not always a bum when you quit a job. It just depends 
on the situation and the circumstance. Like, like if you just getting treated, treated, and you can't find something else first, like some jobs, you don't want to tell them, this is my two-week notice, because they'll try to fire you, which I believe that's what they's going to do. That's an another reason why I did that. Because I believe that if I would have tried to get them a two-week notice, they was just going to try to fire me, be mandatory me every night, no matter where I'm at on the list. Get that. That money they was giving me, I could make that out here. I could make that selling ice cream bars. It seemed like a lot till you start getting it. Ooh, thirty dollars an hour. Till you start getting it. Till you start making bills, having to buy stuff. Then it don't seem like a lot no more. Not for what you gotta deal with. No wonder you raised them up to thirty. You should raise them up to forty. So But yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, having babies, letting a dude go in you without a, without a, a condom on that you don't know extensively, I would say to no dude that you ain't known at least six months. For one, if you're a chick, you shouldn't be having sex. Well, I mean, it just depends. If you like him, like, you know. But he should be wearing a condom. It just depends on the situation. Dudes ain't gonna wait no months and months. You're gonna get cheated on. So all y'all girls thinking y'all gonna make these guys wait until marriage... You gonna get cheated on. If he really like you, he'll play nice. He'll he'll lie and, and make it seem like it. But he gonna have something though. He gonna be smashing something. But you should not be allowing no guy that you haven't known six months or more and been in a relationship with him, even living with him. Like, even if you don't live with him, six months or more, he should be wearing a condom if it's been less than that. And, and what, before you let him go in there without one, y'all should be done looked at each other's paperwork. And if you know he be making babies left and right, and you know he ain't working like that, man, you should not be letting him... If, if, birth control just he'll get you pregnant too and you'll have baby number four that he ain't taken care of you can't tell me I don't know because I know people that's dealing with it and you guys should be wearing condoms then who gonna blame a baby on you and you should be keeping track of her cycle just ask loose questions, man. Or if she say, well, I'm on my period right now. Be like, hold on one second. Go get you some paper. Write it down. When she went on, if, if you can get her to tell you, when she come off. Because they only got a two-week period where they can get pregnant. So if, if she comes off her period, the two weeks pass. You ain't had sex with her in more than two weeks. And she come up pregnant? That's somebody else. Somebody done got to your girl, dog. It happens, man. It's all right. It happens to most of us. Sometimes we just don't know. Somebody done got to your girl. That's why she acting up. Somebody done got to her. Emotionally, physically, or both. They start acting up when somebody done got in their head or got in their vag. Or both. 
If you married and having sex with another man, bum, you a bum, B-I-T, I I do not care how much money you make. Don't care. You use a bum, use a bummy one. That's stuff that, that, that uh, homeless crackheads do. You married and you messing with somebody else. I'm going to bring you back. Hey, listen. Prophet Howard is coming through. This is no Matrix slash Prophet Howard today. You know, the Prophet is going to make some things. And where? You think you... Because you got that house and that car. But you cheating on your husband. You you doing what homeless crackhead is doing. She married. But she messing with another crackhead. Bum. See, the thing about the bummery. The thing about being a bum is it's it's gonna it's gonna continue to rise to the surface. If you don't clean up or clean it out, it's gonna continue to rise until it somehow causes trouble in your life. If you selling for that job that, that is for teenagers and ain't trying to have no second job, ain't trying to go back to school, ain't trying to do nothing, not trying to do nothing is the epitome. It's the pillar of being a bum, not doing nothing. Doing something and coming up short, you're not a bum because eventually you gonna, something going to work out for you. Not doing nothing or not doing enough, bum. You making ten dollars an hour, and you don't work that job ten years. Ain't went to college. Ain't did nothing on the side. Bazam, bum. What's the point? What's the point? You living with your parents, not to stack money, not because you taking care of your parents, not because you helping your parents, not because you even like them, but because you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Because some of y'all don't have a job. You ain't look for one, bum. If you don't have a job and you ain't looking for one or you don't have an income that can sustain you, you just walking around, especially if you smiling, bum. I'm not telling you to be angry because that's not the solution. I'm telling you to be ambitious. You should be trying to figure out what you're going to do. If you ain't trying to figure it out, bum. And this is, we talking to us today. That hood stuff, you think you think that's a career? You think being a stick em up kid is a career? Boom. You breaking in people's car, people can't even have nothing nice around you. Boom. You casing, looking for houses to break in. Boom, boom, boom. You trying to sell somebody else stuff that you didn't purchase to the pawn shop that you stole. You a bum. Take this truth like a man. And if you a teenager, you a, a baby bum. Like I told them some years back, I said, you know, I had all their attention. They all was in their doors because I used to talk to them and stuff. That was one of the funnest parts of the job, talking to them, you know, just just trying to 
trying to have a little fun at work and, and reach somebody at the same time. I said, you know, the, the worst part about some of y'all, what made me think of it, it was this one guy I was looking when he came back. And I know he wasn't nothing but a thief. Still everything. Get out, come back in a week. I said, the worst part about some of y'all is you not sad because you want to change. You sad because you can't mess with people's stuff right now. You can't steal. And that's a lot of them. Like, all y'all that think you're going to be in the hood, well, I got to live around my people. That ain't your people. If you not a bum, then bums ain't your people. I don't care if y'all it. Look, man. Everybody, all skin folk ain't kin folk. Some black people is flat out enemies. Worse than white. That's just the reality. Is it the reality that I want? Of course not. But it's the reality. A lot of us, we don't care about each other. We don't help each other. We don't have partnerships. We don't have friendships. A lot of people here in Milwaukee, you speak to them, they don't say nothing. How, how can you say that's my brother when I can't even get them to say hi? The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. But you talking about that's my brother. Sure he is. That dude to bang your wife, steal your couch, steal your PS5, but that's your brother? Man, please. Steal your guns. Watching you through the blind, see when you going out of work and going out of town. How is that your brother? Y'all be y'all acting ignorant, man. Y'all must not know what a brother is. And that's why a lot of people get burnt. Sometimes white people will treat you better. Asians, Latinos. When I was working in the jail, I rarely had any problems out of the Latinos. Even when I was getting on them for stuff they was doing, they took it right on the chin. It wasn't no, if I ever catch him, because you don't know how to behave. You want to you wanna do something to somebody. How is somebody who want to kill me, want to shoot me, my brother? I'll wait. Because they was being a bum. Got themselves in a the situation. Then thought that they was going to control the situation. You in a good jail, good prison, you not controlling it. In a good prison, the inmates ain't running it. That's a bad prison. The staff running, the staff working together, got each other back. <clears throat> Holding people accountable, holding themselves accountable. That's in a good jail. <laughs> Y'all noticed this video was long. <clears throat> there was so much to say. It's no wonder everybody passing us up. Too many of us is bums. And comfortable in it like a pig, like... You, you in the mud. <clears throat> I want to hear more of us <clears throat> saying we came. What's what's going? <clears throat> Wait, hold on. I need some water. But I need to hear more of us saying we came out of the mud. And I ain't talking about doing no corrupt stuff. We ain't, no, no. I'm talking about beating the game with the game. Legally winning. 
Now, if you do illegal, then let it be some a rule that they made to keep you down. Like you, you got a catering business, but you don't have a building. That kind of stuff. Okay, we we doing that. Home-based businesses that they try to regulate. We doing those. But all that drug dealing, robbing, all that stuff, we ain't doing those. That's what bums do. We putting our dollars together until we got a pile. If you save a dollar a day, you got $365. If you save a dollar a day for 10 years, you got $3,650. You not check the check in most cities. In Milwaukee, and you got 3,000 cash sitting around. You not rich, but you can do some things. You can get you an outfit. You can go out to eat anytime you want. You can get your car fixed. You can buy you some tires. You can buy you a gun. Next thing, not saving no money at all or very little is bomb. You and I and whoever else had to figure out what do I need to do to be able to save my money. What do I need to do? It's all right to play lotteries and stuff. That don't make you a bum. Playing the lottery, that's a game of chance. You you can easily become rich from the lottery. So dude right now riding in Lamborghinis and stuff. He done got some money from somewhere. On this side of town. What people don't normally do. Maybe he won. Maybe he was the dude who won the two million. I don't know. But it's certain it's a certain mindset. Them rappers, them gangster rappers and stuff is teaching you to be bums. If they talking about shooting people, scamming people, all that, they teaching you to be a bum. And you like, man, he 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 didn't man, he didn't what what they say now? He he really liked that. How is he like that and he teaching you how to be a bum? We talking to us right now, y'all. I know I know I'm gonna get some negative comment. I'll take it. Thank you. Cause this this is for me too. You gotta get out here and get as much as you can in a way that they can't take it from you without making up something. Spreading your seed everywhere and you ain't even married. Boom. I can see. If you really like this woman, you might potentially marry her and you chose to do that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about those who just busting in women because they having sex with them. Boom. Especially if you ain't got money like that. And I'm talking about money that can't be taken from you. But anyway... You know bums, especially the ones that always got something to say to you, and you doing the best you can, you trying not to be a bum, do them like this.